I want to get into the to the triangle section of Skinwalker Ranch, where there they say is a possible wormhole or black hole or portal or what do you think it is? I don't know. Um, the honest answer, I'm not sure exactly what it is, other than there is obviously an anomaly. There is something in that area, in that region, and in that airspace that causes GPS to malfunction. I mean, when you say GPS malfunctions, you're talking the GPS is telling you you are in one location, but you're actually in a... In a it's not even Correct. close. Or it just completely malfunctions and does not operate. Think about it. We've had instrumented balloon, helicopter, airplane, and advanced rocketry experiments with sensors, along with drones, sophisticated drones, that have all malfunctioned above the triangle in that region of the property. Lunasond, who is a, you know, a defense contractor, has a very sophisticated platform in, in looking at that area, even saw anomalies in that region of the Triangle and the Mesa. Uh, there have been instances where time has been manipulated, where we've seen, um, you know, the, the, the time itself, there's been a shift by, by a that? quarter of a second, where the data ends up being altered or manipulated. To, to a degree that is not easily explainable. I mean, it's, it is baffling to all of the experts. Everyone who comes out to the property and sees, sees what unfolds ends up scratching their heads. And, and, and to have the best LIDAR, photogrammetry, and other experts that continuously see these strange things occur and occur somewhat simultaneous with UFO or UAP activity as well. I mean, we had we had a, a situation above the triangle where we were launching rockets, of course, one of numerous occasions. And uh, a, a prominent a U, UAP, unidentified aerial phenomena, ends up uh, appearing. And then what happens within minutes following, the Black Hawk helicopter comes right over the mesa, descends over the property, and just hovers right over the south field. This isn't above the men. This is right there, low hover, above the field south of Homestead 1 and the command center. This is late night, unmarked, not transponding, And as the men would describe it, I mean, it was a menacing presence on that property immediately following a UFO sighting. For whatever reason, that region of the property, that region of the triangle, which is not far away from where I saw the UFO, the 40 to 50 foot long gray silverish disc appear and maneuver in extraordinary ways seems to be a, a hot spot, seems to be a center of gravity for activity within a, an expanse of property that is hosting a diversity of incidents and activities. So I, that's what I think drives a lot of our investigation and a lot of the experimental activity is it's the data that we continue to gather from the Triangle, from the homesteads, from the Mesa that is driving us forward. How would you, so there's, there's, been, there's been a number of events that have happened uh, through your guys' experiments within the Triangle, and it sounds like the Triangle, well, it's an actual triangle on the ground, and then and then it it's it's it it seems to be some type of an invisible 
force field, maybe well, I would call it. No, th that region of the property, I mean, you, you see kind of this triangular um, formation or re really the triangular roadway system mm -hmm. that kind of comes together at that point. Uh, but it, it does seem to be a focal point there along the Mesa Plateau, and it is a central point as as you look at the ranch relative to the you know where the the command center and the home and homestead one is in relation to the homesteads out on the out on the far west side of the property. Um, The anomaly that we've seen, the, the people call it the blob, but mm -hmm. this this thing that they've caught on camera, and it's not just from one point of view. It's been from multiple camera points of view and different types of recording devices, different types of cameras that have recorded this this thing, this this anomaly, as Travis, as Dr. Taylor, Taylor would call it, uh, appears to to disrupt the experimental activities that occur. Um, it deflects. We've seen, you know, we've seen rockets deflected. I mean, in that area, we saw, I mean, we launched balloons. I know you probably remember um, early in the docu-series effort, we had a professor from the University of Alabama at Huntsville that came out who is, who is an expert, uh, instrumented balloon experimentalist and operator, um, and he, we never recovered the primary balloon, the primary balloon they set up right above the triangle. It literally disappeared and it disappeared right at the moment that it started registering elevated activity. When the, the meters started going off all of a sudden it disappeared and it has never been recovered. And we've searched, I mean, we've conducted exhaustive searches of the area, looked at all of the surrounding property, you know, via the helicopter, even on the ground, and have never found a trace of where that where that that balloon could have ended up. And Well, I didn't I didn't realize I didn't realize that you guys never found it. No. It seems to be that they from, just disappeared. From thirty one feet to what, three hundred feet seems to be the Yeah. The, and it's but it's transient. Okay. Uh, it's not constant. I mean, it comes and goes. There's something very unpredictable in some respects, uh, but the fact that we've had uh, even lasers bend. You probably remember when yep. they were conducting the the experiments and actually had a laser pointed up, and the laser was documented as bending, as as essentially uh, being deflected off of space. To to this day. Those who are who who have looked at that footage, looked at that data, remain just baffled by what they've recorded. Uh, even the again the UFO sightings that have occurred above the triangle in tandem with some of these experimental activities, not only continue but they've been they've been prominent. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think it's it's not lost on anyone that the 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 object that was seen coming out of the base of the mesa, that um, large orb or whatever unidentified aerial phenomena that exited the mesa was not far from that region. I mean, it all is essentially interconnected. Hey, everybody, I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan Show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.